I can definitely say I'm hooked on a feeling. Hey guys, this is my review for Guardians of the Galaxy. Kind of just realized the other day that I actually hadn't reviewed the first film, and since I'll be seeing the first, the second one tonight, I thought it'd be proper to review this film. If I were to have two of which I say are the best, it would be either Winter Soldier or this film. The one thing I will give both of them is that they are different spectrums of what they normally are, but Guardians of the Galaxy is just a fun time to watch. The soundtrack is deep, incredible, and absolutely catchy, so much to the point where I bought the soundtrack the instant I left the theater. And then just the entire idea of what the Guardians are. A chauvinistic, self-righteous thief, a former assassin who's trying to be self-righteous, a giant talking tree, a guy who doesn't understand metaphors and will extreme will take everything at your word, and then a talking raccoon. If you had told me maybe five years ago that they would have gotten that movie made, I would have called bullshit. It was the raccoon that mainly did it for me. It's like, you're no way are we going to get a movie with a talking raccoon. And yet here we are. The Guardians is a fun film throughout. The action is really well done. The jokes are great. James Gunn did a fantastic job with this script. Because while there is a lot of humor and a lot of action, there is that emotional core at the depth. Which we see at the very beginning. For a movie that's so funny, the beginning is absolutely traumatizing. And then the final scene, the final climax, where they're all holding the Power Stone, and he looks off into the distance and says, Gamora, saying, take my hand, and then he sees his mother, and he gets to, he has this chance to redeem himself for what he failed to do all those years ago. So it hit the feels. So James Gunn is a really, in my opinion, he's a very underrated director. He's done some things that are off kilter, like the Belco experiment or Slither. Slither is definitely something odd. Now, admittedly, Guardians isn't without its flaws. Ronan was a terrible villain. In my opinion, he was terrible. He was so one tonal. He was so. It was weird because we had seen these characters have multiple sides and we had seen such a great work in the Guardians that. Ronan is just one plate. He's just one side of a paper box. And I don't, I don't know, Lee Pace is okay as him. He looks menacing, but I just didn't like anything that Ronan did because he was just literally one angry blue dude. Admittedly, the ending was funny when Chris Pratt distracts him with the dancing. By the way, Chris Pratt, absolutely phenomenal in this movie. This is pretty much, and if I were to say he's pretty much been this character now and everything else, his Peter Quill character is everything he's been in, like in Jurassic World. I was like, oh, it's just Peter Quill with dinosaurs. So while he kind of can't do the same different character, at least from what I've seen, I thought he was good as Peter Quill. Everyone works well. I actually was amazed that I thought Dave Bautista was really good in this movie, you know, good on him. And I like Bradley Cooper as the raccoon and freaking Vin Diesel as a tree. How often can you say that a movie made you care about a relationship between a raccoon and a freaking talking tree? So aside from the weak villain, I think this is one of the best Marvel films they've ever done. I enjoy it immensely. I love the soundtrack. Every time I watch it, I feel as though I'm watching it for the first time because it's just so engaging, so fun. If anything, this movie also is a special moment for me because this poster right here, I received that when I won an exclusive two tickets for an exclusive preview, which was almost the entire prison breakout scene. And that poster is a poster talking about it. I'm gonna be getting another poster tonight for volume 2 so I'm really looking forward to that. Anyways guys, in the end Guardians is definitely a fun time. Aside from a weak villain, the characters are strong, the humor is solid, and the action is fun. And it breaks norms, it has different associations, and it's not like your normal Marvel trip aside from the villain. So in the end I'm gonna give Guardians of the Galaxy a 6 out of 7. It is one of my favorite films I've seen and I deeply enjoy it. And I can't wait to see the sequel tonight. Anyway guys, that's all for me. See you guys next time.